I feel uncomfortable around tall people. What if they lick my head? How the hell did you know we do that? I find old cables in my house that I know I should throw out, but then I'm like, nah, I better keep that just in case someone comes around with a Nokia N95 and tells me to connect to a fax machine with it. Oh, uh, you never know, dude. <sighs> Excuse me, wow, that came out of nowhere. For real though, you never know. Look, this is a sort of phenomenon that transcends all boundaries, race, age, background, you know, it transcends everything, okay? We all keep cables. We all got a box or a drawer or something in the house with a bunch of old cables, whether it's 55 HDMIs or very niche stuff, like you said, a Nokia 90, N95. Wow, but you know what? You'll feel liberated. You'll feel so liberated the day that you realize you have the cable you need and all will be right with the world. When you laugh at a dumb meme and your partner who's not an internet person asks what's so funny, but it's like a tier three meme and you've got to explain about seven years of internet for them to understand the nuances. You could do that, or you could just think something's funny. You don't have to explain yourself all the time. Born in the wrong time. Too late to become a lighthouse operator who reads stacks of books and speaks to no one but the cat. No, you're not born in the wrong time. You can do so many things. If you just put your mind to it, you can do it, all right? I believe in you. You know what? I think we all believe in the lighthouse dream. How are unicorns fake, but giraffes are real? Like, what's more believable? A horse with a horn? Or a leopard moose camel with a 40-foot neck? Damn it, Kyle, you're right. How is it that a unicorn isn't real, but something like a narwhal is? I don't understand Earth. I don't understand the universe, and I don't like it here. Rich teens on TV are always talking about how rich they are, but I went to a private school with lots of rich teens, and they don't do that. They say something like, oh, we have a little place at the beach, and then you go, and it's a 20-bedroom mansion that Chef Boyardee used to own. You know, I appreciate the fact that you used Chef Boyardee of all the celebrities or rich people you could have chosen. Him? Gwyneth Paltrow looks like she's on trial in 1987 for hiring a hitman to kill her husband. This is a really Really great photograph. It's so good. It's all in the glasses and sweater, though. That's why. Those glasses and that sweater take us back nearly 40 years. God, she's weird, though. How much sawdust can you put into Rice Krispie Treats before people notice? Why are you asking the question and not performing the experiment? Like, just get some sawdust and slowly increase the amount in your recipe every get-together until someone goes, why does this taste like that? And then they'll sue you for feeding them non... What's the word? Not potable, no, edible. They'll, they'll, they'll sue you for... Never mind, it doesn't matter. This whole thing's already off the rails. Who's the worst person you've ever met? And why is it the boyfriend you had when you were 19? Look, if you knew me when I was 19, no, you didn't. We all make stupid stupid decisions, okay? Whether that's a boyfriend, a girlfriend, or us just being dumb ourselves. I'm proud to identify as a morosexual. I'm attracted to dumbasses and dumbasses exclusively. A guy asked me what the Spanish word for tortilla was once, and now I dream of kissing him under the moonlight. This same idiot. What kind of animal is the Pink Panther? Me, already taking off my clothes. Benjamin, you're so freaking stupid. You know, I had a conversation with someone about this recently. Is there a term for being attracted to people that are stupid? Is that a thing? And you know what? Yes, it is. Thank you very much, discourse thought. You've really helped me out. Living well is the best revenge. The second best revenge is carefully removing plants from someone's garden and replacing their lawn gnomes with slightly larger lawn gnomes so they appear to be growing in size from eating the plants. I do have to wonder, with long cons like this, how long it would really take for the person to begin to notice this, right? Because if you move up incrementally, one day, things are going to be so wildly different, and they're going to realize, oh my god, did this happen overnight? They're not really going to notice the incremental change, which sucks, I'd say. They'll think you just came in and did it all overnight. Let's say, hypothetically, you get your dick stuck in a plastic Snapple bottle. How would you get it out if it's a Snapple bottle? Huh, I, I don't know, dude. I'm sorry. I like hanging out with guys because there's less drama. <clears throat> Translation. Whenever I spend time with my female friends, we always end up going on an unabridged reading of Hamlet. And I'm salty because they always make me play Polonius. Yeah, I never got around to Hamlet. So I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know who that is. I'm sure a few of you out there do. Congrats. I'm actually kind of uh, envious of your knowledge. But no, I, I, I don't know, dude. The main thing that puts me off of playing chess is that there's 2,000 years of gameplay that hundreds of people with higher IQs than me have spent thousands of hours studying the history of. 
So much so that when I put the pawn forward, they say, ah, I see you're going for the Bulgarian somersault. And then I try to take their bishop with my knight and they go, oh, rookie mistake. You've played the Frenchman's sock and in approximately 37 moves, I'll have won. Yeah, there's something about chess that's not super beginner friendly in a lot of ways. I mean, it's an easy game, very easy to learn, very easy to understand. It's the strategy of it that dumb people like myself will never be allowed to understand. My mom maintains that I was very good at chess as a kid, which is completely false. That is a lie. She might remember it differently than myself, but I was bad and I don't think I ever won a game. I was even in a club, dude. I was terrible. All right. Also, to the person who wrote this, maybe, just maybe, don't try playing Bobby Fischer when you want to start playing chess. There are over 7 billion people in the world. What's one thing you think nobody is doing right now? Sitting bound and gagged in my basement. Yep, absolutely no one doing that at this point in time. No, sir. Let me think about this for a second. Lying in bed, naked, with a 1996 NEC AccuSync 70 CRT monitor. There's gotta be no one. No one. Now? or when this video comes out, we'll be doing that. And I swear to God, if anybody comes to my Twitter and says, I'm doing that right now, no, you're not, you're lying. My ability to dissociate has become too powerful. Now, I'm just watching the fall of America like, hmm, yeah, that's what happens to empires, while I look for dog hats on Amazon. We could have seen this coming a mile away. The moment Amazon really started to gain traction, we could have seen this coming a mile away, man. We've had Walmart for a while, sure, but Amazon was a different animal entirely, and still is. Ugh, I was hacked. Anything that was posted in the last month was not me. I don't smoke weed, I don't eat hot dogs, and I definitely don't eat my own cum. When I find the piece of sh** that did this, and I will, they will pay the ultimate price. And then he proceeds to post a photo that, honest to God, looks like an AI generation of himself. Glenn, why do I recognize this name? Sorry, I, that just like popped right into my head. This name sounds familiar. I don't know who this is, but I feel like I should, or I feel like I actually do, and I'm just dumb. Me, taking a piss in my own house like normal. My anxiety. What if someone slipped you a hallucinogenic drug and you're actually in Walmart right now, pissing in the middle of the store? We'll confront that problem when we come to it. Dude, honest to God, I don't even know if that's standard anxiety. I mean, I've got anxiety for sure. N no cap. I hope I used that term correctly. I'm old. <laughs> but I think about that stuff all the time. Oh, you're taking a dump right now? What if your bathroom has now actually somehow been transported into the middle of a target and the walls are about to fall down? And oops, you're on candid camera taking a shit in front of five million people. This is, this is something I think a lot of us share. Not that exact sentiment, but you know, what if? The what ifs are very fun. Not. Grimes has the energy of the coolest goth girl who works at Hot Topic, but she's secretly dating the regional manager who's 55, married and Republican, and you're like, is it because he's rich? And she's like, no, I'm an anti-capitalist. But then you see her with a new coach purse. Yeah, what a betrayal of trust and respect. Honest to God, I didn't even know the hell they were before, well, you know. <laughs> had no idea, dude. German word of the day. I'm, I'm not gonna try to read that. A state of decay that results from having it too easy for too long, leading to you selfishly comparing your own petty grievances and mediocre accomplishments to the pain and struggle of people who know the meaning of real problems. Well, I can't say it's a familiar feeling. I do think I am experiencing a bit of a state of decay, though. I don't do anything anymore. And some would say that's living. Some would say I'm going to waste away. I'm not 100% sure. At least I got video games. Single ladies of Reddit, why do you think the Union failed in the Battle of Fredericksburg in December of 1862 during Ambrose Burnside's invasion into Confederate-held Virginia? Okay, well, you can't ask this question and then not give us some of the super good answers. There's 2.3 thousand responses to this query. We need to know what the single ladies of Reddit thought about this engagement, okay? It's important for the history books. This asshole fish decided to crawl out of the water, and now we all have to deal with things like rent and foot fetishes. Wait, excuse me, what? The next distance we'll be firing from is 500 yards, the distance of your average restraining order. Adam, what did you do? Adam, don't shy away now. I believe that older writers like me have a duty to pass on the secrets and tricks of the trade that have served us. So, here's the magic you can use to generate character names that are unique. Step one, go to Starbucks, order a coffee and a pastry or sandwich, any flavor. Step two, tip the barista a dollar and wink. Step three, when asked for your name, mutter anything through your mask. Silverware, Ardvark, Ramon, and then take your seat and wait. 
Step 4. When you're called to pick up your pastry, the new character name will be printed on the bag. It may bear a passing resemblance to what you muttered, or it may be an entirely new name. Never used in any culture. Step 5. This always works and you are welcome. Honestly? I don't go to Starbucks very often, but I might give this a try, even though I'm not a writer. Okay, I technically am, but... You know what? No, I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Universities pay staggering salaries to presidents, chancellors, VPs, and provosts by the dozens, etc. And in every administrative office, there's a 57-year-old woman named Peggy with a title like Admin Assistant 2, or the second, and that she's the person who actually runs the university. Can they raise lifeguard requirements? I'm sorry, I just don't trust a 19-year-old 110-pound blonde named Mackenzie with the IQ of a McChicken to save my life. You know, it's funny that you say that, because that 19-year-old 110-pound blonde named Mackenzie is probably a better swimmer now than you will ever be for the rest of your life, dude. A burglar breaks into my house in search of valuables. As he enters the living room, his eyes widen in horror as they fall upon a display case full of my middle school karate trophies. Suddenly, I appear behind him, hands on my yellow belt. Welcome to the dojo, bitch. Have we checked all food to see if exploding them makes them into something better, or did we just stop with corn? I would love to know how we discovered popcorn. Because there's a reasonable story. There's a reasonable set of circumstances that could have led to it, right? I just want to know the story. Your girl will still ride in your car if she's mad at you, but she's just going to turn her knees towards the door and look out the window the whole time like a f***ing Labrador. Jack Black is literally the only human that never needs any context for me. I could see him going anywhere and doing anything. Like, if I got abducted by aliens and saw him just wandering around the spaceship, putting bugle chips on his fingers to make it look like he has claws, I'd be like, that's some classic Jack Black crap right there, and not even question it. Nobody in the world has been able to ascend to untouchable likableness in the same way Jack Black has. I mean, there are a lot of people out there that I've never met anybody who dislikes them, but Jack Black is probably the only person I've ever seen where people are so enthusiastically in love with that person, man. Did everyone have a PE teacher at school with a beard who wore a tracksuit all the time and taught geography on the side? <laughs> no. Heck no. Parents at restaurant. Our son's seventh birthday is today. Group of six Adderall-addicted chain smokers who all have sex with each other and haven't slept in 24 hours, stop rolling silverware and start clapping. <sighs> you just inherited a hundred billion dollars. What ridiculous things are you spending the money on? After all common sense and helping others, spending is done. A butler, not an assistant, a middle-aged, slight man with a posh accent called Jeeves who wears a tux with a frilly white shirt who calls me sir and hangs up my coat for me. I'd pay him a sick-ass wage and really integrate him into the family. And if I have disagreements with anyone, I'd get him to respond with a click of my fingers by telling them, sir doesn't respond to ruffians. The Chesapeake Bay is surprisingly shallow. A six-foot-tall woman can wade through over 700,000 acres of the bay without wetting her hat. Well, that's interesting. Not gaslighting, it's just lying. Gaslighting just sounds cooler, so people have started using it. Gaslighting is lying that causes someone to question their own sanity. If you tell your mom that you've done your homework, that's just lying. If you tell your girlfriend that you have an average-sized cock and then replace all her measuring tapes with ones that are 50% regular-sized, that's gaslighting. Know the difference. I mean, goofy joke aside, that is true. We gotta stop using using gaslighting for all lying and deception. They are right. Gaslighting does specifically refer to causing someone to question their own reality and sanity. You know, like someone finishes making a dish on the counter and you hide it as a joke. And then when they go, what the hell, where'd it go? You go, what do you mean? You, you didn't make any food. What are you talking about, dude? Are you okay? That's gaslighting, man. My favorite is people who send me unsolicited dick pics. And then they're like, uh, hi, are you ignoring me? It's just so funny to me. Like one minute, I'm designing bioreactors and getting published for heat dissipation in polymers, and then I open this godforsaken app to dudes hanging brain who can't even pronounce, uh, saponification? S never mind. Calling me a slut because I won't give attention to their limp excuses for existence. Three billion years of evolution, and the greatest form of communication you can conjure up in your fermented omelet of a conscience is submitting your wrinkly ball sack to a stranger on the internet to substitute the attention your parents never gave their mistake of an offspring. You're working with polymers? Are you from Atomic Heart or some shit? By age 30, you should have $3 in savings, $5,000 in credit card debt, existential dread, a favorite spoon, one half-dead plant you feel really bad about because your mom keeps asking for grandkids but you're not ready, and you thought this basil plant would be a good place to start. You ever pull your cardigan closed across your chest with crossed arms and suddenly feel like a sentimental widow stepping out into her beachfront porch at night, fondly remembering her past lover? That is an odd stereotype, isn't it? Countries where it is legal to hit a Swedish person with a stick if they walk to your country over ice. 
hmm, we don't really have specified this. Oh, well, that's a weird way to put it. Um, I'm surprised you can't legally hit a Swedish person in Finland. I thought you guys could, I thought you guys did that as well. Girl in sweats. I'm a girl and I don't need expensive gifts to make me happy. I just want pizza. I love food. Sorry, I know I'm weird. Girls wear makeup and I'm just in sweatpants and messy hair like, OMG, right now girls are partying and I'm home with a good book getting stabbed. Okay. When you're absolutely terrified of butterflies but you work for National Geographic and they need pictures of butterflies. You might be in the wrong business. Sometimes I say, huh? Then answer the question before the person even repeats themselves. I'm not deaf, my brain's just lagging like a 2005 Dell desktop. Your wife has been kidnapped and is being held in a location 30 minutes away. You're driving to rescue her. It's a warm night and your windows are down. Do you listen to music on the drive there? Yes or no? You know, the first time I saw this question, I did have a bit of an existential crisis because it's second nature to get in the car to wherever you're going and plop on some music. But I don't think it would feel very appropriate to go rescue my wife, family member, whatever while listening to Post Malone. You know what I'm saying? Something about that feels wrong. Cauliflower tastes like someone ate a dozen hard-boiled eggs, waited an hour, farted into dirt, then tended that fart dirt lovingly for two months until it grew into a fart flower, harvested it on the hottest, ripest day of the year, boiled it for 13 hours, and then tried to fool people into thinking it tastes like mashed potatoes. Well, number one, you're wrong. Number two, goddamn you're wrong. This is the future leftists want for our homes. Oh yeah, we've got an estrogen lab in the house now. Oh, and yeah, this house did come with a gay room. I think Timothy Chalamet and his sister look like super rich European kids who you'd run into at a fashion show and look simultaneously super confident and super nervous to ask you to join their weird high-end sex cult. I don't know anything about his sister, but the dude does give me strange vibes. He's definitely good at what he does. He just kind of freaks me out a little bit, you know? Is he a Nepo baby? Is he a nepotism baby? Because I feel like he is. He just came out of nowhere, dude. Being an adult is inviting a friend over to cook dinner with, but then they cook with your salad onion instead of your cooking onion, and you want to shout, no, not my salad onion, use the cooking onion. But instead you just smile and say, we're having a great time. What is a salad onion? I gotta be straight with you, bro. I've never had a salad with onion in it. That doesn't feel correct at all. Don't text Samantha again. Who's this? Her boyfriend. Don't text her again. You don't want a problem with me. Bro, she's my coworker. I just need her to take my shift next week. I don't care. I'll make your life hard, kid. My bench is 315 and my deadlift is 405. I'm six foot three and I used to wrestle too. I'll break your tiny arms. Why do I not believe for one solitary second that you can bench 315 or deadlift 405? No way, bro. Today feels like a good day to wander into a forest for 30 years, only to come back with antlers, a thousand yard stare, and the ability to speak to the earth. Folks who don't give you a recipe because it's a family secret are very odd. First of all, it's not like your family's living off these cinnamon rolls. And secondly, you've told me you cheated on your wife before, so is it clove or not, dude? My son has recently informed me that the wall people who always have their eyes open don't like us anymore. Just curious if anyone's free tonight to help me move. Why is it that in America, we're all like, scary, move out, and everywhere else it's like, yeah, that's Steve. He's a 1,000-year-old vengeful goblin spirit. Leave a hot dog in the woods on a full moon, and he's quiet for the next year. Why can't we aspire to that kind of friendship? Well, maybe the goblin living in the walls should be a little bit more sensitive to how he comes off. Okay, he scares the shit out of me. When you encounter others on a trail, Offer a friendly hello or a nod. This helps create a friendly atmosphere. If you approach a trail user from behind, announce yourself in a friendly calming tone, yelling, that chipmunk stole my car keys, run for your lives. That's not helpful, okay? Everyone wants to talk about gaslighting. Nobody wants to talk about how cats domesticated themselves and modeled their meows off of human baby cries to better manipulate our emotions. Again, I don't believe the human baby cry part. That I'm sure it's true to some extent, but I do not believe that cats just hung around babies and went, oh, I can do that. Like, what? what? What are the odds? The fact that a cat can walk into your house and be like, I live here now, and most people just go buy food and litter for them and let them is pretty impressive as an evolved trait. It's because they're the cutest objectively, all right? Dogs are cute, but they don't have the same level of cuteness as your average cat, okay? I had a dream I was able to time travel, and I went like 10, 20, 100, 1,000, 2,000 years into the future. But the instant I went to 4,000, I got stuck in a time dilation jail set up by the American government in the year 3877, in which anyone that tried to time travel back or forth across May 23rd, 3877, while on Earth, would end up stuck in this time dilation chamber trap to stop the time travelers. 
But like, it was so crazy and mismanaged because it was legit, legit capturing like every single time traveler ever. And the place had only been open for 12 minutes and was already getting overpopulated with nonstop multiple recursive instances of this one other guy trying to break previous versions of himself out of this goddamn time traveler jail. Where's the TVA when you need him, man? 2029. My TV starts flashing red with an alert because I lied on Amazon Prime about how many people are in my living room watching Trolls 5. They send 15 cops in riot gear and they kill my dog. I'm not allowed to shop at Whole Foods for two weeks. Why does that sound so real? Just ask her out, bro. The worst she can do is initially laugh thinking it's a joke before turning to a look of disgust when she realizes you're serious, rejecting you in such a way that you have crippling self-confidence issues for the rest of your life. What are you waiting for? Yeah, I'm just gonna put this out there. I know that when it comes to kids, this is usually like a, a kid's thing, you know? That's what they do, whatever. But uh, if you as an adult do this, you are a piece of shit, okay? If someone asks you out, and I know there's a lot of extenuating circumstances and breaks to this rule, I get it. You know, if someone's been creepy and mean and rude, then yeah, tell them down, like, fuck them up. But you know, you don't have to be rude and laugh and disgusted and stuff. That's just incredibly mean, says the guy who's been treated like that all his life. If you're laid up with your girl in a 41 to 135 degree room and she starts multiplying rapidly, that bitch is a foodborne pathogen. Stay woke. I mean, don't worry, piss money billionaire. I do intend to stay woketh. Damn girl, are you a kid's movie from my generation? Because you're fun and cute, but also horrifying in many ways I didn't originally realize. Oh yeah, let me, uh, hold on. This movie's not from my generation. I mean, I guess it could technically be, but Pee-wee's Big Adventure? Oh my god. Rewatched that again recently, and I knew there were some very key points in that movie that were quite freaky. Like, the clown surgeon horrifying bit in his dream, or Large Marge, you know? But the entire movie has a very strange, I guess, what would you call it? I guess just feeling, for lack of better terminology. That thing feels super weird. Not happy go fun time like Pee Wee's Playhouse, no. There is something that instills the fear within your body watching that movie. And I guess technically you could call it maybe not a kid's movie? I don't know. I watched it a lot when I was a kid. But then again, I also watched South Park a lot, so maybe I'm insane.